This is problem 931 and we have an RLC circuit and we have the resistance is equal to 80 ohms. The inductance is 240 millihenry and the capacitance is 5 millifarad. 5 millifarad. And we know the input voltage V of T is 115 cosine of 2t. So we're supposed to find the current. So we're trying to find the current I of t. So that's what we're trying to find. So to be able to do this, we will try to find the impedance. So we want the impedance z. We're trying to find the impedance. And once we know the impedance, we can then find the current. So the impedance for a resistor, we just know that is equal to R, which is 80. The impedance for an inductor, for an inductor is J omega times L. And we know that omega here is two. Omega is 2. So we have J times 2 times our value of L, which is 240 milli. So that's 0 0.240. So this impedance for the inductor comes out to be, what does that come out to be? Uh, J uh, 0.48. 0.48 and then the impedance for the capacitor is equal to 1 over j omega times c All right so that's 1 divided by j times 2 times c which is 0.005 and that comes out to be, um, that's 100 over J, or 100, yeah, 100 over J. And we know that one over J equals negative J. One over J equals negative J. So we can transform this the impedance whoop, right the impedance there is the impedance is negative 100 j or j negative 100 if we want j negative 100. Okay. All right, so the total impedance, we can add all of these together. We have 80 plus J.48 um, minus uh, J100. So the total impedance then equals 80 minus J99.52. So that is the total impedance. And if we then write this in polar form, in polar form, we have R is equal to 80 squared plus negative 99.52 squared, square root of that. So that is 127.688. And theta is equal to 
Um, we got to be careful about this negative sign. So that's the inverse tangent of negative 99.52 divided by 80. So that is equal to negative 51. Um, negative 51 point. Negative 51.2 degrees. Okay. So we know that the we were trying to find the current. And the current is equal to the voltage divided by the impedance. The voltage divided by the impedance. And we know that the voltage up here, we're given that the voltage, and this is equal to 100, 115 at an angle of zero degrees. So we have 115 at an angle of zero degrees. And then we're dividing that by the equivalent impedance, which we found out was 127.688 at an angle of negative 51.2 degrees. So doing this calculation, we have I is equal to 115 divided by 127. And that comes out to be Point nine at an angle of zero minus a negative, so that's a positive 51.2 degrees. So looking at this, we now can write our current I of T as uh, point nine cosine of omega t and we knew we know omega omega is 2 cosine 2t two uh, plus 51.2 degrees and that is our solution for 931